Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anya. This is going to be a reading for a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a soulmate reading or a soul connection reading. So take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate, check your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus. They may be more in your ballpark. Cross watchers are welcome. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay? We have a sudden change and heartbroken. Okay. On the bottom, we got somebody meeting somebody new, dating and getting back out there. They plan to set a date. So let's see what's going on here. Let's pull my divine feminine on each side. Because you could be dealing with either side. You could be on either side. This person is very hurt. They're separated from the one they love. They just had a breakup. And they're, they're grieving. They're feeling. This one's like shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. And I do believe it's because one or the other here has cheated on the other one. And it is very shocking. The other person didn't even have any inclination that this was happening whatsoever, I feel like. Lady of the Lotus born embodiment of is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. Yeah, this person is just been it's like a lightning bolt came down and went BAM! There you go. And this person is heartbroken because this person just had a tower, a sudden realization, a sudden change. Because they just got some shocking news. Possibly about this other person. Bridget, I am an eternal flame. Wow, so this is the twin flame reading. And each day, my light grows brighter. So this, this person... Although they are very heartbroken, very, very heartbroken, they're still understanding that their light is only going to get brighter. I have arrived. I am where I am. I am where I will always be in love. Okay. So I do feel like somebody can't let go of this. This is a twin flame relationship. They're here to teach you something, guys, about yourself. And I do believe that this person has learned, maybe the hard way. Because whatever this news that came in is about, which could possibly about be about somebody uh, maybe getting ready to date somebody else. And this person's like, oh, wait a minute. What do you mean you're going to date somebody else? Is what I'm hearing. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, but this weather here in the Midwest is terrible. It's already starting to get icky. And it's just fall. I don't, I don't do snow, guys. I'm, I mean, I've been here a couple of years now, but I'm getting ready to leave probably in fe February. Because... I can't do it anymore. This weather here, I'm just used to the tropics. I grew up in Florida. Ooh, okay. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay. Immediately what I'm getting here is there's gossip, there's rumors, there's all kinds of things going on here. And there's a codependent energy. Okay, this codependent energy could be either side. It could be addictions or it could just be somebody is very re reliant on the other one. Like codependent, like they can't be on their own so they depend on this other person but this other person found out that I feel like they made a date with somebody else and they found out about it. 
And they mad. They all kinds of mad. All right. And but they've been they've definitely been enlightened here about a situation about this King of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And an empress, a mother, some kind of individual that they are fighting with. But the, I think what happened here is the mother slipped up. She slipped up. She said something she shouldn't have said. And it started this. Okay? And on the other side... We've got somebody who's very heartbroken here. Look at look at that Knight of Cups. Usually, the Knight of Cups is coming in with, uh, you know, bells and whistles and love and everything else. But this person is scared and maybe even drinking a little too much. Okay, they're scared of this new beginning because they heard too many things in the grapevine. And they're spying on this other person. I mean, big time spying on this other person. Like, like I said, it's it's almost like an addiction that this person is like scared to death what the next step is because there's been too many things said, too many things that have been done. They're scared to take that new start, but I think they're going to anyway. Let's see. What this five of needles or five of swords is about. This is a fight. Somebody who just got into a big fight because of the lightning being there. Let's see why four. Why four? Okay. Wow. Okay. What I'm immediately getting from those two cards is there is a family involved here. That somebody has to take care of. But this sudden change that just came in is a judgment. Either by you or by the other person or even by God of what your true your true nature and your true ten of cups is. And you're you're willing to fight for it. Whoever this person is, they are willing to fight for this because they have been wronged. I'm feeling like it's like a king of cups came in and got their empress. And I'm just saying that as, as a he, she, because of the way the cards are. It doesn't have to be. He's willing to fight for it, though. So, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, King of Wands on King of Wands. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio. You could be the King of Wands or vice versa. We got Taurus, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and now we have Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Scorpio. So, ultimately, this is going to be the King of Wands call about what to do with this. They are being enlightened about everything. And it's, it's their judgment, ultimately, that's going to decide whether this Ten of Cups is going to happen or not. If not, you may want to let it go because you have just been rocked, whoever you are, about this codependent energy. And I feel like it's somebody who depends on you. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe like a child. There's a whole family here. Maybe the whole family depends on you. But you're being enlightened. Ah, goodness, sorry. Um, and you're being patient with everyone around you. 
But there's a fear here. I'll figure out what that is in a minute. There's a fear of letting something go. Putting something on the chopping block. So let's see, let's see what the Knight of Cups, Knight of Potions is all about on the right side. Like I said, please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And it does resonate. Please like, subscribe, and share. Okay, yeah, this this person manifested this other person. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. They manifested it. It was their hope. It was their dream. That was what they wanted. And maybe they are taking a brand new start. And maybe they're trying to look the other way from all that's been said and done. Yes, they are. Wow. This person is going to travel to this person. If you are of long distance, which I do feel like, I feel like there's an age difference. And there is a long distance here between the two of you. We got Virgo and Aries, I mean, and Aquarius right here. Gosh, you got them all. You got them all. Earth, water, fire, and air. Okay. Knight of Potions. This this Knight of Potions. And I feel like drunk phone call coming here, Scorpio. I don't know who this is for. <laughs> But I do, I feel like somebody is going to call somebody else and drunk text or drunk phone call them and try to manifest their wish, their hope, okay? This person is deeply hurt. I don't know if it's by another person or by this person. It's probably by this person. But they're still trying to manifest that because it's their wish, right? And they do. They get a brand new start. But they're moving on. They're not they're not waiting no more. They're taking matters into their own hands, which is the emperor energy. Moving forward no matter what. And that's a good energy for this person to be in, whoever they are really good energy they understand that this is a divine counterpart they were willing to accept this divine counterpart no matter what but they decided to either move away or to move towards this divine counterpart we'll find out more Page of Needles, so Page of Swords. Somebody's watching the other person big time and they're very, very confused. It's like, like I said, it's like this lightning bolt came out of nowhere and informed them, of, informed this person that they need to be the King of Wands and come forward in this other person's life because this other person is heartbroken because they have been waiting for them for a very long time. Wow. Scorpio, you go from the Five of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles in one fell swoop, and I cut the deck, and there's the Empress. Again, so we have a divine couple here. I don't know if they know they're divine because they are both dealing with their own stuff in their life. Like I said, I pulled that apart, and there's the Empress again. But it's like whoever this person is, you know, spreading rumors and spying and telling their friends all about it, you know, like being, and I see like four people here involved in this, maybe a family involved in this, Scorpio. And either they left you or you left them out in the cold and decided to you know be stable be a person that can be counted on okay maybe they left you out in the cold and you went towards your fortune 
your stability, your energy. You're holding that to yourself because in, and I feel like this is like the energy that this person was put in was ghosted, completely ghosted. Like left out of everything. But there's King of Pentacles here. So going from the five to the king is pretty pretty big move. Let's see what else we got here. Let me get another deck. Because I want to clarify a couple of these. What's the Ten of Cups and Judgment card on top of the Five of Swords? Spirit, thank you. Sagittarius, balance. Trying to find balance is what I'm feeling between this conflict with this demon. All right. They left you out in the cold. Can't make it up, guys. Um. So, who, <laughs> wow. Okay. This feels like a family left this person, decided to leave this person and just let them fend for themselves and see how it worked out, you know? They ghosted him. They ghosted him. They acted like they didn't even exist. And that now this person is getting the shocking realization of what they need to do to get it back. But I think it's too late. We'll see. We have, yeah, walking away. Page of Cups and a Page of Pentacles. Nope, this person is coming forward. This person is coming forward. They have been enlightened about their path. This King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's Sagittarius right there. They have been enlightened about their past. So they are trying to have the patience to move forward, not backwards, not walking away. But I feel like this, this card, this Eight of Cups, is moving towards offering the Cup of Love and the Pinnacle to the Empress. Okay? The Empress is balanced, so she's she's good, you know. But this person is understanding this now. She, she, he, whoever it is, they're understanding that this person is this other person. Even though they're hurt and disappointed, they're okay on their own. They're an Empress, so they're okay. There's some codependent energy here, though. Somebody is relying on somebody else for something. Let's see what we got here. Stability. It's all about stability. Love. Look at these aces. And being all up in your head and stuck. Judgment again. So for whoever this person is, they're the one that needs to come forward, Scorpio, because they ghosted you. Or... or they ghosted this other person. This other person. I don't know if it's you or not, Scorpio. It might be the other person. The other way around. Um, but this person is deeply hurt. And deeply sad. And you really... Whoever this person is really, really hurt them with their words. And this person is like... Scared to death of what's next. You know? But manifesting it anyway. And we have two aces, two brand new starts and stability, love. But somebody's up in their head about it. Somebody's stuck. And they're not moving forward. It may be a monetary issue that's keeping them from moving forward. Because somebody's got some stuck codependent energy here. Let's see. 
I wasn't going to make it this long, but yeah, I'm, I'm not doing reversals today, guys. Yeah, this is the codependent person. Queen of Cups manifesting. There's that Six of Swords. You guys are moving back towards each other. Ten of Wands. You are dropping the burdens that no longer serve this situation. Okay? Both of you. And I feel like you're moving towards each other or moving on completely from each other. And maybe this was a lesson learned. This heartbroken person. See this, this card's going this way towards hope, towards a wish. And this person's destiny has come full circle. And now they are moving away to calmer waters. That's so weird how they, that came out. The fool card. <laughs> See how one's moving towards and one's moving away. So this one's moving towards their wish fulfillment. Completion of the cycle. They got burnt. They learned their lesson. They learned the brand new start in truth about the situation in love that they manifested that left them out in the cold. So they're moving towards their true purpose, their true divine purpose with their true divine counterpart. And that's their hope and their wish is that they manifest that. But from this other person, they ghosted them. Got five of pentacles over there and five of pentacles over here. Five, five, five. I mean, we got several fives here. They are moving away from this energy, this toxic, stuck energy that's over here. Okay? That's that's just beautiful. That means somebody's dropping all the burdens. They're just going forward motion, full steam ahead. That's awesome. It really is. Happy for ya. Definitely. All right. Let's see what kind of information we can get over here. On each party in... Oh. Sorry if these are a little longer than normal, but I do try to get to the end of it. <laughs> get to the end of the story, or at least as close as I can. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Divine Feminine. Creepy needy. I will not obey. Wealth is an inside job and exceeding expectations. Surrender on the wave and wait, Scorpio. There's a divine counterpart here. But it's creepy and needy and like, yay. So you, this person's stagnant. They're not, they're not accepting the other one is their counterpart at this point in time. They're considering whether to make these offers. They haven't made these offers yet because they're only at the ace in the page. So they're drawing a line in the sand and understanding that wealth is an inside job. It will exceed their expectations. If that is what you're truly in, and, and you know that could be the codependency as well, is that somebody is depending too much on the outside world to fulfill them as opposed to looking within. And when they look within, it exceeded their expectations. It was more than they ever thought it would be. Never love again, lost, losing, you killed me. They know your birth chart. Divine masculine, cannot express feelings. And there's that surrender and wait on the wave. Twin flames. Fast but sloppy. Um, so, believe it or not, in a whole deck of cards, I got the Divine Feminine here, I got the Divine Masculine here. 
all right? It could be either, it could be flipped. Cannot express feelings. They are surrendering, but they will, they, they, they feel like they can never love anybody again because this relationship busted them. They can't, they can't do it anymore. They're feeling like, If they give their heart away again, it'll just do the same thing. But you guys are mirroring each other, both of you. This one's hesitant to move. This one's wanting to move on. Because there, I do believe there's no, there's no communication here. And you guys are of long distance and there's an age gap. They know your birth chart. They know who you are. They know what you represent, and they know what's coming for you, okay? They studied you in depth, is what I'm hearing. So they can get all the information they can, yes. Going through a proverbial death, which means that they, something has ended for this person. They ended it. Oh, wow. They're going to see. Wow. They're going to text or email this other person who has pretty much moved on from the situation. Okay? Because they miss them. Just saying. This is a twin flame relationship. Runner chaser dynamic. And it's meant to teach you both a valuable lesson. Yes, this divine feminine is divinely protected from those who are codependent and never satisfied. Okay. Somebody let go here. Let go of an entire situation and the other one is still stuck in the ace position where they're coming into the realization but won't do anything about it. You need to get a little bit of courage there, whoever you are, because this is your divine counterpart. This is your twin flame. And if you don't want to be with them, that's fine. Don't yell at me in the comments. I mean, I get it. I've been through the experience myself, and I get it. Too many people involved. Game stalking. But as I said before, there's, there's rumors. There's things going around about this person they just found out about and they see their mistake they see their codependent behavior and they're they're trying to change that they really are unhealthy attachment yeah transform the ways through regretful sadness it's over time to go Somebody playing around with dark magic here? I certainly hope not. Magic is cool. But if you're playing with the dark stuff, be real careful with that because it can come back and bite you tenfold. Just saying. I don't know who's doing this, but y'all need to be careful. I'm just saying. Like I said, there's gang stalking going on. So that tells me that somebody is trying to invade the other's dreams and get other people in on the game. All right? This person has an unhealthy attachment to this person. Coffin death. See, this person thinks that this isn't over. This person says no more. Transform the way is through. So face the demon. Okay, whoever this demon is, you face it. And although it makes you sad, it's over. You know it's time to go. You know there's no more of this um, apologizing and going back. I apologize for ghosting you. I apologize for not speaking to you for so long. We... 
Will you just uh, go out with me on a date? Even though I haven't talked to you in maybe years because I just disappeared. I mean, come on now, guys. Think about that. You guys are of a distance from each other. There's an age difference. And one of you just disappeared. Just no warning, no sign. Just disappeared on the other one. And now they want to come back. They want to say, hey, I love you. I want to make you my queen, my empress, whatever. Or emperor, king, whatever. And I don't think this person is happy. This person wants harmony, but still needs to do some shadow work. This person is fertile and patient and balanced. Number 11 is on the right path, mental conflict. Financial and material changes for both of you. So that could be good, that could be not so good. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Harmony. This person is trying to make friends with their shadow. But they're going through a lot of mental stress trying to do it. You know, you got to get this balanced, guys, before you can come into union. It For twin flames especially, you know, I mean anybody really, but for twin flames especially, the shadow work must be done first. You can't just say, oh, I'm a twin flame because somebody told me I was. That ain't how it works. Okay, um, lots of shadow work, and pull my table closer. Um, lots of shadow work has to be done here. And until this duality is met, you cannot have harmony. I know that's what's sought after in this situation. But this person feels like it's done, it's over. And they may be having wonderful ideas right now and being very patient, trying to find their balance again after all this. Okay? Let's see what we got from. Did I write poorly? No, I didn't. Romance Angels. If you want to know what decks I'm using, you can comment in the. Uh, comment section and I can tell you here we go codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life and deception someone is wearing a false mask and it's a soulmate oh man this is like super hard energy for these two people they know it's time to go. They know this is that this is over. But this person's never one of y'all's never satisfied. Uh, uh, it's like poverty consciousness. Like there's never gonna be enough. There's never gonna be enough. Um, and the other one has codependency issues, or both. You know, maybe maybe that maybe that's the issue. Is there's never enough for someone. But they are divinely protected while they're going through this. They really are. And I do believe that this person is going to be getting the message from this other person very, very soon. Um, I don't have the tower, but we got a lot of fast-moving energy with that King of Wands. This person's trying to find balance, but they haven't found it yet. This person has, and they can see right through the deception. <laughs> a wise woman of wonderland integrity and compromise on that side and on this side we have the prison wave in reverse ringmaster scrutiny in reverse discernment clear vision and details somebody's not paying attention here i mean all the signs are there all the signs are there for both of you to follow and you just need to look up is what I'm hearing. You just need to look up and understand what it is that you really, really want. But let's, let's go through here. The wise woman of Wonderland brings integrity to thought, word, and deed. She lets you know that as long as you're in the flow of honesty 
and being true to your word. She keeps you under her protection and care. When she appears as your ally, she signals a time when honesty pays off, yielding greater dividends than you ever expected. Well, didn't we just say something about that? Be thankful that you remain faithful and loyal to your path. She reminds you that compromise isn't always an option. Stay true to yourself first and foremost. Although it may appear that you could lose something as a result, you will never lose what is truly yours. Wow. That was pretty powerful. Let's see what the prison wave in reverse has to say for the other side. Okay, now in reverse, this is self-sabotage, poverty consciousness. What was I saying? Somebody here, it's never enough, it's never enough. I'm, they, they, they pretend like there's somebody they're not because there's never enough. That's the codependency issue I really do feel like. Okay, this says, are you a prisoner of worry, distrust, cynicism, and fear? Do you constantly tell yourself that there's never going to be enough? <laughs> no way. Or do you see the lack of po lack, only lack and poverty wherever you look? Perhaps your expectations of negative results and, and repercussions serve to keep you imprisoned by your own thoughts. Do you feel that you're not allowed success in life? When the prison wave comes to challenge you, he warns you that you are now seeing in your life the results of those negative thoughts and expectations. If you don't like what you see, it's time to transform the way you see it. If you aren't happy with your life, change your thoughts. That, that alone has the power to change your life. Difficulties are learning curves right now. Just remember that this prison won't hold you for long. Take the time to learn about mistakes, the lessons that ensure later and greater success. So yes, I, indeed I feel like this person has learned their lesson. This person's still trying, but at least they're trying. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.